All right, so in this video, I'm going to share a chat GPT tip that I've been using for the past, I think maybe about eight to 10 months to help me streamline my chat GPT workflow. The tip is pretty straightforward. So basically uh, in my chat GPT, I have several shortcuts. So for example, let's say I want to summarize this uh, article and I can simply type S M followed by the number of response that I want ChatGPT to return. Let's say I want to return three options. I'm going to enter three and followed by the article. Now, because I already configured my setting for ChatGPT to understand the shortcuts comments, you automatically populate Three different summaries that I can choose from. And it's going to be the shortcut that I'm going to show you how to implement in your chat GPT today. All right, so first, we want to go to customize chat GPT. Now, it's been a while since I updated my customizations. But uh, here, so basically, here, me copy my. So this is basically your uh, instruction to instruct how ChatGPT is going to respond based on different uh, instructions that you provide. And this is my customized prompt that I've been using for the past eight months. So basically, uh, you want to create a section. In each section, you want to create a bullet point. In each bullet point, you want to assign a shortcut key. So in this case, for summary, my shortcut key is going to be SM, stands for summarize. And here I have shortcut key S and shortcut key L. The one is going to return a short response based on my uh, request. And the L shortcut key is going to be a long response based on my request or based on my question. And you can extend the shortcuts based on your use cases. And the numbers represents how many outputs that I want to generate. So for example, three means that I want to generate three responses. It will be 10 responses and so on. They want to date the instruction to tell ChatGPT what those shortcuts are used for. And to make sure that the uh, setting will work as expect, I'm going to reiterate each shortcut key's uh, usageness. And just be SM. And once you insert the customized instruction, so basically you want to save the setting and you're good to go. If I let's do another task. I'm going to grab the same uh, article. So this time I'm going to convert this into a table. So I'm going to do T and I want to return two uh, different tables, I guess. So T2 and followed by the article's content. And let's see what happens. Okay, so ChatGPT is able to recognize the keyword shortcut and generates a table. So for things like table, uh, usually I don't think ChatGPT is able to generate more than one table at a time. So just keep that in mind. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover for this ChatGPT tip. And hopefully you find this video is for. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.